Fellow Metamaniacs, Mike the Pied Piper here, and I'm here with a special Dragon Ball Super video. And this week, uh, kind of a special one, because it could be used for any card game. Um, and uh, a tool that I personally use for any game, uh, any card game I play, and I play a variety of them. I play Dragon Ball Super, I do play Final Fantasy, um, my wife actually plays Pokemon cards, so I dabble a little bit in Pokemon cards. And before I enter any tournament or I'm building any deck, uh, I always like to know probability of how, when I'm going to get certain cards and, you know, um, when I'm going to get certain combos and, you know, when I'm going to get my win con, basically my win con for my deck. So uh, there is this tool that I use online, which I kind of wanted to share with you guys and kind of share my personal experience, which... Hopefully, will make your deck a lot better in regardless of any game that you play. Um, even for the Dragon Ball Super Card game, we actually recently came with a rule where you could run between 50 and 60 cards, which is uh, quite interesting um, because it leaves where we have the question of okay, are you going to have a lot more consistency having a lower deck size, or would you have rather have more options and have a higher deck size? So what I like to do is use this calculator and help figure out my odds based upon if I have a 50 deck size, a 60 deck size, or even like a 51, 52, 53, or 54 deck size. So I'm going to go ahead <coughs> here and I'm going to share my screen. And uh, this tool is actually called the Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck uh, Probability Calculator, which uh, we can provide you the link for. Um, this is not just for the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. Uh, it's actually a really easy calculator to use. I don't want to get into so much of the math on how this calculator works because, uh, again, not everyone watching is super duper uh, efficient with math. Um, but I can assure you the math is sound with this calculator on how it figures it out. So what I like to do is let's say I'm going to be building a Dragon Ball Super deck. And I look at the deck and obviously we'll, we'll, let, let's start with a deck size of 50. Um, and then we have a hand size of six. So in the calculator, you would just go here. When you load up the site, you put in deck size 50, hand size six. Uh, under card name, um, you could put in the card name. Like, for example, I could put a heart felt plea here. Um, Goku, Son Goku, a heartfelt plea saying that, hey, I want to look for this card in my deck. Um, I want to I want to be able to find this card and you could add additional cards but to be honest you could just put a B C or D so the big thing that you're asking is is what is your win con what are what combo of cards are you looking for to ultimately have the win con for your deck um, and what I mean by win con is like you know everyone's like oh hey I get my ultimate card if I have you know, uh, back when it was popular, I had the Sun Goku tap three energy. Um, and then I would play Victory Strike, go in for the Victory Strike game. So I was like, okay, what did I need? I need Sun Goku Path to Greatness. Um, and then the Sun Goku, uh, why can't I think of the name right now? But that eight drop Sun Goku that made you tap three energy or tap three of your battle cards. And then I would go into Victory Striker. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you need? You need one, two, you need four of those cards and then you need, or you need one, one, and then you need the victory striker. So I would come into this calculator and I would figure out the odds. <clears throat> so this is how this would work. You would just put whatever card you're looking for. You would put the amount uh, that you're looking for. Uh, then you would put the min and then the max amount that is uh, actually available in your deck. Um, here we go. Sorry about that. You'd mount, you'd put four. So, um, I actually have a 41.05% chance to get this into my opening hand. So that means there's four in the deck, uh, a min of one and a max of four. So basically what I'm telling the calculator is if I had a minimum one or a max of four in my hand, um, that would be considered a success. So if I was to draw six cards out of my deck at the beginning of the game, I have a 41.05% chance to draw this card with a 50 card deck. So now let's say we wanted to look at the deck size and we're like, okay, how big of a difference does it make it if I'm looking for that one card and I want to go to 60 cards? 
So if we go to 60 cards, we can actually do that. Um, so we actually go from a 40% chance to a 35.15% chance. So we lose approximately 5%, which is the equivalent of 1 out of 20 games. Okay, so 1 out of 20 games, if I go from a 50-card deck to a 60-card deck, I am not going to be drawing this card at the beginning of the game. Okay, so if that's just the one card that you're looking for in a deck, you may want to say, hey, you know, really it doesn't make that much of a difference if I go from 50 cards to 60 cards. You know, I'm looking for this one card. Um, let's say that we go with the hand size. Uh, you're looking at, okay, it's going to be a couple turns into the game. You're going to draw a few cards. You're going to take a few life. Let's say all of a sudden you start seeing uh, 10 cards. Um, you know, by turn three. So with this, with a deck side of 60, by the time turn three comes along, uh, Heartfelt Plea, uh, you actually have a 52.77% chance to see this card within turn two or turn three. Um, if we were to go down to deck size 50, we actually bump that up to 60.32%, so a pretty big difference. Um, now this is just an example of looking for one card in your deck. Like, let's say there's one card that's part of your combo. But we can actually expand on that. And what we can do is we can say, oh, okay, well, let's say I need a heartfelt plea. Um, let's say I need a um, random Goku card. Okay. So I also need in my hand the random Goku card. And again, let's say I run four in the deck, a min of one, max of four okay and we're gonna go back down to six cards so in order for me to draw these two cards into my hand at the beginning of the game uh, I have a 15.12 percent chance now I know what some of you are about to say when it comes to the Dragon Ball Super card game you're like but wait a minute uh, we get to mulligan right we get to actually mulligan and do that all over again now there is a way to figure it out mathematically where you can figure out what the chances are. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking the probability and then you're multiplying it and then that's when you would get the result. You would take the fractions. So you would go 49 over 50, 48 over 50, you know, and to, for the different results. Um, however, you can kind of get like a base amount by if you're going to be doing your entire hand, you would take this 15.12% and you would multiply it by whatever 100 minus 15.12 uh, is. So you would take 15.12 of 85. Um, and then you would get that new percentage, and then you would add that percentage on to the chance to have your opening hand, assuming you're going to be shuffling all six cards in to, to try to get these cards. So it, it gives you, it's not going to give you an exact answer. It is going to give you a roundabout answer. Um, again, it is a little bit more math uh, intensive when you start uh, adding in um, that you get to mulligan and you get to basically get four, you know, oh, I'm going to choose four cards and keep two. Um, but for the most part, this does give you a general pretty good idea of what kind of cards you're going to be looking for the deck. So let's say you have a three card combo and one of those cards is an ultimate. So we're just going to put in random ultimate because it's like, hey, yep, you need this ultimate card. Well, there's one you need there or the amount one in the deck, the min one, the max is one. So the chances of you now in even a 50 card deck in drawing this card, this card and the random ultimate is literally 1.34%. So you're talking, in order to get these cards, um, the, the two cards you're looking for, and the random ultimate, um, one out of a hundred. A little bit more than one out of a hundred. Um, now, we could update this and go, okay, let's see if we want to go 60 cards. Now you're talking a uh, little less than one out of a hundred. You're talking uh, 80 out of 10,000, or a thousand <laughs> points. So actually, 79 out of a thousand. So the chances of you getting these opening cards going from 60 cards to 50 cards is uh, that's a pretty big jump. So I just wanted to go over on how to use this tool. 
I guess a lot of people come and go, well, what's the right answer? Should I be running 50 cards? Should I be running 60 cards in a Dragon Ball Super deck? Um, is there an in-between? Uh, what do you think? It really, really does depend upon your deck. It really depends upon the deck that you're going to be running. Um, let me put this back to uh, full camera here. Um, it does really depend upon the deck you're running. If you're running a, if you need a lot of cards in your hand in order for your combo or your win con to go off to beat your opponent, you're going to want to run 50 cards. However, if you don't need, like you don't need that many cards for your win con, maybe you just need one or two cards, or you have multiple win cons in the deck, um, multiple ways to get to your end goal maybe running 60 cards is a lot better because you're protected from mill decks and you have a lot more variety in your deck you have a lot more answers to decks that may come because you have those extra 10 cards to play around with so i'll encourage you guys to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh deck pro uh, probability calculator play around with it um, let us know if you have any questions with it but um, it's extremely helpful. Again, I always use it for any Dragon Ball Super Tournament. Oh, excuse me, guys. Just got to get a little bit of water. My mouth's a little dry. But I use it for any tournament that I'm about to um, that I'm about to enter, um, because I want to know what the probability, what are the chances are of actually getting my win con, um, in order to uh, beat my opponent. So anyway, thank you so much, uh, fellow Metamaniacs. Uh, thank you for being um, Patreon members. Um, special shout out to Trent from TAC Games and Renee. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, our other Patreon members, um, which will be shown at the end of the video, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you have not liked and subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, we do post TCG uh, comments every day. Or not every day, but like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from different games. Dragon Ball Super, we will be doing ours on Thursday. And if you guys do have ideas for future videos, or if you have a deck list that you would like me to go over on this channel, um, please send it over to us. Uh, let us know, and uh, we'll definitely we'll go through it on the channel. And um, uh, yeah, I can kind of give you my thoughts and feedback on it. I know I've had a few people reach out to me and go, hey, what do you think about this deck? And um, absolutely. Uh, I will be playing in the PPG uh, tournament this weekend. Um, I, I was able to sign up for that. So uh, I am going to be running my Zamasu deck. Uh, I did make some changes to it. So kind of excited about that. We'll see how that runs. Um, and I'll let you guys know how I did next week. So cross some fingers. Hopefully I do really good. All right, fellow Metamaniacs, have a great, great, great rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys next week.